Hello everybody, welcome back. We are here again at Kings Island in Cincinnati, Ohio. I think technically it's in Mason, Ohio, but yeah. basically Cincinnati, Ohio. And we're back. I'm excited to be back. This theme park in 2022 was named number three in the nation. Number three in the nation for amusement parks. Come along with us and you'll find out just what makes this amusement park so interesting and so spectacular that it kicks Disney World off the list. Let's start off just by talking a little bit about Kings Island and the history of it and why it is such a spectacular park, why it is always in the top 10 of amusement parks, and why it tends to be floating around the number one, two, or three spots in the United States. Let's just go through a laundry list of all the record-breaking things that have happened at Kings Island since it opened. In 1977, the Screamin' Demon debuted. I've ridden that ride. It was amazing. It was one of the first forward and backward looping roller coasters in the world. In 1979, they added the Beast, which was the world's tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster at the time. In 1981, they opened up the Bat, which was the world's first modern day suspended roller coaster. In 1984, they added the King Cobra, which was the world's first stand-up roller coaster. 1987, they opened up the Vortex, which had a record-breaking six inversions. Six inversions, and then again, a record-breaking, world record-breaking coaster. In 1999, they opened up the Drop Tower, which set the record for the world's tallest gyro drop. In 2000, they opened up the Son of Beast, which was the world's tallest and fastest and only looping wooden roller coaster. Then in 2014, they opened up the Banshee, which was the world's longest inverted roller coaster. And then in 2020, they added this park's first Giga roller coaster. It is one of only a couple of Giga coasters in the entire world. So that is just so many things that this park has been a part of when it comes to roller coasters. In addition, the racer is often credited for reviving worldwide interest in roller coasters. So this park just has such a rich history, such a history when it comes to world record-breaking coasters and attractions. It is just almost, it's pretty much a one-of-a-kind one parks. It is one of the best in the world. So I am so excited to be here because there are so many awesome things about this park and so many things to do. So let's get moving. They have a ride over here called Surf Dog. Um, and it kind of looks like a, I don't know, it's like a, like a, one of those like Viking ship type things that goes back and forth, like, like swings back and forth, but it like does like a, it goes over a hill. Oh, it looks kind of cool. I think we're going to try it out. It's, we're in the kids section, so I don't really know. It's like a kid's ride, I guess, but it looks kind of fun, so I think we're going to give it a go. Here we go. What do you think of the surf dog? I thought it was going to be lame. I feel like I might have ridden it, like, I don't know, a billion years ago. I feel like it might have been called Avatar Airbender back there, or Airbender. Hmm. I don't remember. It does kind of look like it would have been Avatar. Yeah. Um, but it was fun. It was uh, more yeah. fun than I thought. I got on, I was like, this can be lame, but actually it wasn't lame. <laughs> no, I feel like it ended up being a lot better than I thought it was, yeah. too. But it was loading, actually kind of fun. The loading process is very slow. It's very slow. Yeah, for no reason, actually. Yeah, it was really slow I to don't load. I know why. Luckily, there was nobody in line, so we just got on, but yeah. um, it took a while. Yeah. It was pretty fun, though. It was like it was actually cool, too, like like cooling off. Like, yeah. a lot of nice wind, and it cooled me down a bit. I don't, it was kind of fun. I was surprised for like a little thing in the kitty area, but I liked it. Kings Island is having their 50th year celebration at the same time that Disney World is having their 50th year celebration. And as part of their 50th year celebration, they have a special brand new street party parade that looks like it's coming this way right now, so let's take a look. Well, 
this is pretty cool. They have this like garden area right here um, near the middle of the park. And it has like all these history plaques about the park. Like when the rides open, what they were. On the ground here, they've got some plaques that tell you a little bit of the history of the park. And then over here, along the outside, you've got all these Eiffel Towers that are like colored and um, representative of like each of the rides. So like Orion, I think is the last ride that just opened up Orion. And look at this cool like blue Eiffel Tower. And then as I make my way around, I'm guessing I'm gonna be going backwards here now in the order of the ride since that was the last one. Yeah, see they've got like Mystic Timbers right here, which I think was the one that opened before that. And it's got like this like creepy vine going up the tower. That's kind of cool. And I'm guessing this is going to be Banshee if I remember my history correctly. This is probably the, the coaster before Mystic Timbers. Yep, there's Banshee and it's got like all the colors of Banshee. Wow, this is really neat. There's Diamond back over there. This is kind of a cool little uh, like garden area that they've created right here. It has a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, and this must be the beginning right here, 1972. So then we're going to start with the racer. Yeah, there we go. That's the one I was talking about earlier. Sort of that dueling wooden roller coaster. Making our way along. What's that over there? That must be the beast if I'm seeing it correctly because I see the... Yeah, there it is. That's the beast right there. That's kind of neat. What's this one down here? Oh, Adventure Express. It looks all like jungly and everything. And then this one over here, I think, is the bat, which I believe used to be called Top Gun back in the day. It's kind of like almost like Bengals colors, like orange and gray, and it's got bats on it. But yeah, this is really neat. You can literally follow the whole history of the park with all these little plaques and see all these cool little like Eiffel Towers. What's this one? Flight of Fear. What do you think of that? Um, what do you think of that little garden thing back there? That's kind of cool, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty cool. neat. Yeah, that was kind of neat because uh, you can just kind of go through if you've never been to the park, you get a little bit of the history of the park, learn a little bit about it. Look the year you were born. Yeah, the year yeah, you were born. That's pretty neat. What did you guys think of the parade? I liked it. It was so much fun. I like how they ha include neat. kids to like interact in the parade uh -huh. and have them like do the drums and go out and dance, and then the confetti yeah, at the end. Yeah, was cute. I like that some of, I like that some of uh, our theater friends are in the show. Yeah, it was all, I think it's super awesome. I like always seeing them in their shows and parades and stuff and supporting them. And they're always so good. We saw Beth and Anna. They're always so good. I didn't see Bridget. Bridget said she's in it, but I did not see her today. I know the last the last time we saw the parade, she was in it, and I didn't see her in it, and even though like, she was there. She was like, "We saw you." I was like, "She what? was waving at us." It's on the video. I have it on. I, we recorded a part of it. We just stopped at the jukebox diner because we are starving. Uh, surprise, surprise! We've been here five minutes, and we're already starving. Actually, we've been here longer than five minutes, but basically five minutes. And um, it looks pretty good. It came highly recommended. I got an awesome looking double cheeseburger called the Double Stack and it came with fries. It's got like tomato, lettuce, yeah. onions on it. Um, and then Candy got... I got the patty milk. Da -da -da. I love patty milks. I haven't had one in years, I feel like. I used to get them at Frisch's all the time. I love them. Um, they changed them recently though. Frisch's did. It looks really good. I didn't even know Kings Island had anything like this, so I'm excited to try it. Now it did, her patty melt did come with jukebox sauce on it, which they said is some sort of mayo, Thousand Island type eat sauce or something. She got it without that, because that's a no-go for her, so anybody that doesn't like that, don't get it. But the, she also got her patty melt well done, surprise, surprise. And then we got some onion rings. We got like a side of like half onion rings, half fries, so we got tons of fries. I can't wait to dig in. I got chicken tenders and fries. Very basic. <laughs> but look, look at the attention to detail. 50th anniversary little stick. And then, like cover your burger. Austin, what'd you get? The double stack. Double stack like I did? That looks pretty good. I can't wait to dig in. Why am I not surprised that Wendy got chicken tenders and fries? <laughs> She loves them chicken tenders. I think, is that your favorite food? Or just chicken in general? Chicken Alfredo is my favorite. Chicken? So, so is, is chicken your favorite yeah. food? Like all chicken and stuff? I think so. I think chicken's my favorite meat too, by far. This, this patty melt is so good. I love the flavors of the meat, it's quality. 
the bread, the rye bread, I absolutely love it. It's like marbled rye bread, which usually patty melts are just rye bread, but this is kind of the marbled kind. Um, and it has Swiss and grilled onions. It's so good. Like Steve said, I didn't get the sauce on it, but it does, I don't like, like, he, he, the first thing when he said what kind of sauce it was, he started to say it, it's basically mayonnaise. I was like, I don't need sauce because I don't want any mayonnaise. Um, but if you like mayonnaise, you can get the sauce also. Her patty melt looks <clears throat> amazing. I can't believe they have that here at Kings Island at an amusement park. That's it's crazy new. to me because it looks like it looks like a, a a restaurant, like a high quality restaurant patty melt. Look at this bad boy. Oh man, that looks good. That's awesome how it was. It's already gone. It's got that um, <laughs> jukebox sauce on it. I'm about to rip into it. I don't know why I'm holding it like this, but whatever. Let's just try it. Okay. Wow. It's actually really good. I feel like I like this place better than the brew house. Yeah, just we go from here and brew house back and forth. Brew um, house is nice though because you can eat inside. Yeah, it's AC. That's why we love you. Yeah. There. And they have like the bar, so like a lot of people like like that. I feel like. Yeah. Like, I feel like. But like a lot of people like that. I like the ambiance and the air conditioning of the brew house. They do have different options there, which I think is good. But if you want just like a burger and fries, I feel like. Yeah. Or a patty go. mountain fries or something. This is, this, is the place to go this is it. The fries are really good too. Yeah. Surprisingly, I haven't tried an onion ring. Is it? Or have you tried them? Are they good? She's an onion ring connoisseur, so they're good. Um, I I mean they're really good, but um, I I like really really thin onion rings the best. But I feel like you can't even find those anymore. I feel like I used to eat them thin when I was little, and people don't make them like that anymore. Um, but these are really good. I like the batter and I like, you know, the texture of the onion and the batter together. So it's good. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Cosmic Rays Cafe. I love you and all at Disney World. And it has a view of the castle. But you ain't got nothing on the jukebox diner. I got to be honest. I I'm mean, sorry. that, the burgers and the patty melts and everything we had there was awesome. It was really and I love good. Cosmic Rays. Yeah. I mean, Honestly, Disney doesn't have the best burgers and fries. I'll, I'll like be honest; them. they're they're decent. Yeah. But I, I didn't like think that, that this place would either, because it's yeah. like theme park. I feel like theme parks don't usually have good. I was expecting good. theme was park popping. quality. It was popping. very. It was restaurant quality. <laughs> it really was. And I need to stop looking at myself in the viewfinder and look at the camera. <laughs> oh yeah, same. <laughs> I I never even noticed that there. <laughs> All right, now I'm stuffed. Let's go ride the beast. I see the beast over there. Can't tell how long the line is, but I have a feeling it's going to be long. But, oh well, I don't care. I want to ride it. It's one of the coolest rides here for sure. Just a reminder, the Beast was the longest, fastest, and tallest roller coaster in the world when it first opened. But now it is still the longest wooden roller coaster in the world. So it still holds that record, but it's been overtaken by a couple other rides. So. It's still pretty awesome and it's super fast and it has a few different features of it that I think make it unlike any other wooden roller coaster, any ro roller coaster at all. It's got two hills uh, and then it has this really cool double helix after the second hill. It's so amazing. Yeah, the beast. That's just a cool logo too, I feel like. like uh, it just looks so neat. And I like how they have these, uh, these like giant like claw prints of the beast leading you up to the actual attraction score. He said it's only a 10 minute wait. When we walked up, they were they were asking and we thought that he said two hours. And we were like, yes. I might be <laughs> deleting all this part of the video leading up to this and since we're not gonna be writing it, but uh, then he actually said 10 minutes. So yeah, we're in. Check this out. This is an ace roller coaster landmark. American coaster enthusiasts. Well, we were on the beast. We were on the ride, sitting in the ride, and um, apparently there was a technical delay, and we had to get off the ride. So now we are currently hanging out here in the front row, waiting for it to fire back up. No ETA. Let's see how long this takes. Uh, actually, um, 
We seem to have a lot of bad luck on this ride. Anytime we, usually when like we try to ride this ride, we can't because it, it's like broken down or something's going on with it. So I guess we'll have to keep you posted on uh, whether or not we get to ride the ride. Still waiting. <laughs> we were in the seat. We were in, we were on the ride. We finally got on the beast. Woohoo! How cool was the beast? It was so much Amazing. fun. I mean, man, that ride just hits. That ride just hits. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to run away. Uh, I love it. I, I just love that. Sec I don't know what happened, but at one point I got thrown into the seat thing, and now I can't move my shoulder at all. <laughs> my whole right arm doesn't move at all. The whole rest of this vlog, the whole rest of this video. I'm going to be using my left hand to hold the camera because I can't move my right arm now. But it was pretty cool. I loved it. I like that second hill, though. The second hill into that little double helix thing. That thing's popping. It picks up so much speed right there. I think we're going to head underneath the racer here to area 72. Yeah. And back here is where Flight of Fear is, <laughs> which I think was like the original ride back here. And then they added Orion and like worked it into its story. Um, and I think the story with Orion is like something about aliens. It's like we're going into a secret base. If you've never had a chance to ride a Giga Coaster, you've got to ride one. I'm telling you, they are absolutely amazing, spectacular. I can't say enough good things. They're so big. They're like so tall. The thing that I really like about Orion is it goes up the hill. Like when you first start the ride and it goes up the hill, it goes up so fast. You like almost don't have time to even prepare yourself for the hill because it goes up the hill so fast and then you're up there and you're looking over that hill now ready to go down and it's just like you're so far up there and then it, and then it goes down the hill and it's so fast. It's crazy town. I love it. I think this might be our last ride of the night. It's going to be Banshee. It's getting a little dark. I think uh, it closes soon. But I love this ride. I think this is my favorite ride here. I've talked about this before. I love the inversions and everything that they have here. It's just an awesome ride. It's kind of a cool line with all those uh, all those graves that are all lit up and everything. It's kind of neat. It's kind of, I love I love this ride. This is my I, this is my favorite ride. Wendy likes it too. It makes me want to vomit, but here I am. Banshee was. Awesome! Um, however, she almost barfed. Yeah. I'm trying not to get my hair wet right now, unsuccessful. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to rain. So I think we're probably going to have to call it. Um, but yeah, you, she almost barfed. Did you almost barf? No. I, I no? feel like I'm about to anyway. You do? I feel like I'm about to. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I love Banshee. I love all the inversions. I think it rocks. It's my favorite ride here. It's such a blast. Look how cute this is. This little walkway right here that we just kind of stumbled across. It's all like lit up. With these cute like colors and stuff. Look how cute it looks here at nighttime. It's all like lit up. Eiffel Tower looks really cool. And all these little lights on the on like um, this main drag right here. Cute, I like it. It's cool, and this fountain is really pretty. Huh. We decided to try to squeeze one more ride in, so we are gonna head over to Mystic Timbers, and hopefully it doesn't shut down, because it is starting to sprinkle a little bit. But you know what, we're gonna try it. We're gonna hope for the best, try to get to Mystic Timbers, and not get rained out. Why not? I'll tell you what, one thing, they de they definitely have a lot of food here, which I like. There's a lot of like food booths everywhere. Um, restaurants, food, snack shops.
quite a lot actually, and some of that are very unique, which I think is cool. This is neat again. I like this little like coloration that they got here. It looks really cool. This ride's kind of spooky. Um, that's like the that's this ride's kind of like shtick or whatever. It's kind of deal. It's supposed to be like spooky and eerie, and we're going back into this busted old backwoods area. So I feel like riding this at nighttime is definitely kind of the way to go. And I've never ridden this at nighttime. So it's gonna be a new experience for me. Well, the line doesn't look very long. This is gonna be fast, hopefully. Okay, look, I am normally a front row kind of guy. Like, I like the front row on most rides. But I have to say, Mystic Timbers, back row, nighttime, was absolutely insane. Never done it before. Hello. Never done it before. It was insane. It was crazy. I was getting thrown everywhere. It felt like it was 50 times faster. That was an experience. If you are going to ride Mystic, you, you've got to ride the back at night, the back row. Because in the front, you can kind of see things coming. In the back at nighttime, I didn't know what was coming. Know what was going on. It was like, I thought we were going left. We went right. I was getting thrown back and forth. You couldn't brace for anything. It was just, it was crazy. Mystic Timbers at night in the back row, 100%. <laughs>
What an awesome night we had here. It was so much fun. Uh, we got so much stuff done. This is, this, is, yeah. this is just an awesome, awesome park. It's great for families. They have like lots of carnival games, lots of rides that are kid friendly, lots of rides that are adult friendly, okay. intense, crazy intense ride, great food. It's just an awesome park. I think it, I, I'm, this is why this park is kicking Walt Disney World out of the top 10 amusement parks. I'm telling you, it, it, it's, it's crushing it. Awesome time. So thanks again for joining us. Hope you had a blast and enjoyed this video. For everybody that we caught in this video who met us for the first time, there was lots of friends today. Always great to meet new friends. Always great to see old friends. Again, thanks for joining us. Be sure to check out all of our other content. We do all sorts of theme park reviews, restaurant reviews, etc. Lots of links down in the description below for all of our other content. We will see you again tomorrow for a brand new video. Don't forget, subscribe, like, share, comment below. It totally helps out our channel. Until we see you tomorrow. Hi, I'm Kaylee. Hi, I'm Liv. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm Frankie. I'm Cassie. No way is the easy way.